Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Cray, and uh, today I have the tutorial for the page turn on how to animate a page turn, and um, yeah, so this is what it's gonna look like. It's just gonna be like this. You have your pages in the middle, right there, and then it goes right there, and it just kind of looks realistic, like from not from right here though because you can see it's one flat thing and it goes into back but I'll show you how to fix that and um, another thing too is I bought a blue snowball mic and uh, I got it at Fry's the other day because it was on sale for like 60 bucks so I was like why not so if my mic quality is good better than how it usually is let me know and I've been using it for like the past two to three videos and I just f keep forgetting to mention it but yeah and I'm also sick again so I sound different that's why so let's get started all right so first off all we're gonna be using is a plane a spline wrap and a most spline. so I'm just gonna make a new project file so start from scratch all right then first what you want to do is um, shit one second oh, yeah first what you want to do is uh, open a plane and once you get your plane you're gonna want to get uh, go to MoGraph if you're using R12 under MoGraph it's most spline and then if you're using R12 as well you're going to want to go to your bend deformers right here and then just go to spline wrap and after you have that you're just going to put want to put the spline wrap under the plane like so as a sub parent or subdivision whatever you want to call it and then you're going to want to highlight spline wrap and right here where it says spline you're going to want to move your most spline there and that will make it like it will cut the plane in half so this is going to be the length of your page so depending on how long you want it you're gonna want to mess with this and you can mess with this by moving the length and I'll just do about like one square two square two squares and a half, three squares and a half I mean two squares and half of a one square so I'll move that to about 250 250 like so and now after you have that it's gonna come the animation part so what we want to do now is just click auto keyframing or if you don't use auto keyframing you just keyframe each thing then uh, that's what you're going to want to do. So first off, you're going to want to rotate this, or just leave it like that. Then like we'll go to about right here, and then we'll rotate this about 30 degrees. And then on the most spline, you're going you're not going to want to keyframe anything on the spline wrap or the plane. Everything you're going to keyframe is going to be on the most spline. So after you rotate it, um, you're going to want to just put up the segments to about 10 and segments are going to be your pages so if you want more pages then obviously you're going to want to put more segments and angle P will be uh, the separation between each page so you're going to want to mess with that too and I'll just do about 80 and then the bend is going to be the thing that makes it look realistic like if it's like really turning because you know like paper books uh, when you turn it it kind of bends a little bit so yeah so we come back here and I just want to mess with this because I don't want it to look flat. So we put that like so, bend that back, and then we put a few more pages. So it starts off with pages, and you can see the pages. We'll put 11 pages, or 8. I'll uh, just put 11 pages. Alright, and then it's going to open up like that and you're gonna to want to rotate this a little bit back more and then right here rotate it some more and then you're gonna to want to pull just keep pulling this down and the bend you went negative before so now you're gonna to want to go positive that's gonna bend it the other way and then pull it back and then just lower the I'll just keep that like that and then as it's falling down you're gonna to want to lower the angle P to make it look realistic like the paper is stacking center right here just lower it down to about zero actually we're gonna want that like that so you're gonna want to lower the angle P like so so there you have it that's how you animate that see it kinda looks realistic you can also add a wind and the wind will do the same thing but uh, I find that this is better alright so um, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to uh, do a 
cover like the um like what you wanted to say like you saw in that uh teaser i did how it said dare sniping or trick shotting dictionary with dare sniping or something like that um i'm not gonna show you guys how to do that because that's really easy you just need to use photoshop put it like in a 500 by 500 document or whatever the size of your plane is it's uh this one's about what size is it i don't know but you see if it's uh centimeters if it says centimeters then that's what you're gonna want to put in um photoshop uh i don't know what units you guys use but I used to I use the default centimeter, so it says uh, you can't mess with this, so that's not the correct uh, thing, or the height is. But yeah, so you're just gonna want to do that in Photoshop, and then just put your whatever you want it to say, and then save it as a PNG or a JPEG, whatever. I would suggest a PNG because it's higher higher quality. So then once you have it, all you're gonna want to do is just drag the, your picture if it's on your desktop, drag it. Oh shit. Um, drag it to Cinema 4D and put it right here and then it will become a material and then just drag it onto the cover and if you want to make a cover I suggest just getting a cube then just doing like one 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 or actually about ten uh, this is actually bigger than I thought about like that that one and then just move the heights or whatever and I can just animate this cover to be on top of the page or whatever and uh, this will be your hard book if you want it hard like a hard book and that can be your cover if you want it uh, paper like just a paper book if you're doing a paper book then you can just keep uh, lowering this to about like um, probably one I mean well that's a hundred just probably one and then it'll look uh, it'll look harder than the other ones, but you can tell that it will be the cover. So then you just animate it with that, and um, you put the material on top of this and put it on frontal. So like when you have the material, you put it on the cube. You go right here, the UV map mapping, and you change it to frontal. And then that should uh, have your book cover. And if anything, if it's upside down, just move your camera or you can I don't know if you're gonna be picky about that then you could just go to Photoshop and rotate it but yeah that's how you do that and also the spine the spline whatever you guys call it uh, I just used a cel uh, cylinder um, you guys can become more creative and do whatever you want but that's all I used <clears throat> sorry my throat's killing me dude I just put it to like about Five and the height just change it to like 400 or something. Oh, 380 seems now 400 it is. Because you can see right there, it's yeah. And then you just animate that. You can put it all in an all and animate it, but sometimes it would separate. But yeah, that's how you create the book. Um, simple tutorial, and a lot of people might not find this useful, but I sure did. And you can become more creative and maybe do something like uh. Ah, uh, sorry. So when the pages open up, like uh, you have something like actually like an animation just come out the book, like a pop up book or something. And uh, I don't know, just be creative with this. It just doesn't have to be a book. But yeah. And also another thing I want to say is um, I did not get the tutorial from uh, Grace Gorilla. They don't show you how to make it. They just talk about it. That's another thing people are saying. Oh, Grace Gorilla shows you how to do this. No, he doesn't. He just talks about it. And he clearly says it in his video that he's not going to show you how to do it. He's just going to talk about it. And he talks about it a different way. He never said anything about the way I used, uh, made this tutorial. So hopefully you guys like it. Please thumbs this up um, as I'm trying to come back strong because spring break is coming and my parents aren't letting me go out. So I'm going to be just making tutorial for you guys, giving out free stuff. And I'm losing some active subscribers again because my past two videos haven't even hit 1,000. So hopefully you guys thumbs this up for me so other people to see. That's all I'm asking for, thumbs up. I'm not asking for favorites. I don't, I'm not doing this for the money. If you guys think, oh, that's why he wants a thumbs up. No, if I want it for the money, I would ask for favorites. So then I'll get to the front page of YouTube. But that's not what I'm asking for. I'm just asking for thumbs up so people see it. All right, so that was a mouthful. But yeah, um, I have to get ready.
and I'll talk to you guys later. If you guys have any tutorial requests, please make sure to let me know. If you guys have any comments, uh, let me know, or questions, let me know. And yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.